the aerospace world has recently been shaken by the United States quietly testing a hypersonic weapon so advanced that it stunned military experts and caught other nations by surprise. This new technology is believed to surpass the speed of the top-secret State Route 72 Dark Star, the next version of the famous State Route 71 Blackbird, once known as the fastest aircraft in the world. But what exactly did the US test, and how did this hypersonic vehicle achieve speeds beyond Mach 6, possibly even hitting Mach 10? Stick with us as we explore the incredible details of this hypersonic test, which has amazed experts everywhere and is believed to be faster than the State Route 72. Hypersonic planes and weapons may sound like science fiction, but they are the result of over 50 years of research, trials, and technological progress. While many now see hypersonic systems as the future of military power, their origins trace back to the Cold War era, when the US and Soviet Union competed for control of the skies and space. For many years, this technology remained unused, sitting in hidden labs due to limited budgets and a lack of urgent military needs. However, with growing global tensions and the onset of a new arms race, major nations are now racing to perfect these extremely fast systems, which can dodge conventional missile defenses and strike targets with incredible speed and precision. The journey toward hypersonic flight began in 1959 with the North American X-15, a rocket-powered plane that still holds the record for the highest speed by a manned aircraft at Mach 6.7. The XE-15, dropped from an AB-52 bomber, proved that controlled hypersonic flight was possible. However, it used a rocket engine that burned fuel too quickly, making long trips nearly impossible. Despite these challenges, the idea of flying at hypersonic speeds persisted. Engineers turned to scramjet engines, which could maintain high speeds without the heavy fuel tanks required by rockets. But this innovation presented new hurdles, such as the extreme heat generated at speeds exceeding Mach 5, and the need for advanced heat-resistant materials. Building a hypersonic plane in the early days was akin to creating a bus where the majority of the weight was fuel, leaving little room for crucial components like safety systems or navigation tools. For example, the XA-15 could reach Mach 6.7, but it could only remain airborne for a few minutes before running out of fuel. This is where modern hypersonic air-breathing engines, such as ramjets and scramjets, make a significant difference. Unlike rockets, these engines do not carry oxygen but instead use the air's oxygen while flying, making them far more efficient. This efficiency is measured by specific impulse, which indicates how much thrust an engine produces in relation to the fuel it uses. Rocket engines typically have a specific impulse of around 450 seconds, whereas ramjets and scramjets can exceed 1,000 seconds, allowing them to travel much farther with less fuel. Not all engines are the same, though. Turbojets, commonly used in most fighter jets, are great for takeoff and can reach speeds of up to Mach 2, but they struggle beyond that. Ramjets, ideal for higher speeds around Mach 3 to 4, require an initial boost to get going. Once they reach speed, however, they are incredibly powerful. Scramjets, on the other hand, can exceed Mach 5, and with one of these engines, a flight from New York to Tokyo could be completed in under 2 hours, rather than over 12. Despite their capabilities, ramjets and scramjets face a major drawback, they do not perform well at low speeds, which complicates takeoffs and landings. This is one reason why many hypersonic vehicles today cannot be reused. For instance, hypersonic missiles don't start at hypersonic speeds. A rocket engine initially boosts them into the sky, and then they either glide at hypersonic speeds or use a scramjet to maintain their velocity. In an effort to overcome some of these limitations, the team at Hermes created the Chimera engine, which combines different engine types into one. The name of Chimera was inspired by Greek mythology, where the creature was a mix of various animals like a lion, goat, and snake. Similarly, the Chimera engine blends turbojet and ramjet modes, allowing it to operate like both. This turbine-based combined cycle engine is a game-changer, enabling advanced aircraft like the Quarter Horse to take off like a regular jet and then accelerate into hypersonic speeds without the usual challenges. Of course, reaching such speeds generates enormous heat, but Hermes engineers have designed the Quarter Horse to withstand these extreme temperatures during flight. This represents a monumental step toward the development of reusable hypersonic aircraft, once considered an impossible feat. 
A crucial component of the Chimera engine is its pre-cooler, which functions like an ultra-modern air conditioner by cooling the air before it reaches the turbojet. While this might sound simple, it makes a huge difference, ensuring the engine performs optimally before switching into scramjet mode. This is especially important when flying at hypersonic speeds, Mach 5 and above, speeds that have become the benchmark for modern military technology. The Pentagon is heavily investing in engines capable of operating as both turbojets and scramjets to reach these extreme velocities. Hermes, a small startup, has made remarkable strides in hypersonic technology, achieving in just 21 months and with a budget of only $18 million what many larger companies or government teams would require decades and massive budgets to accomplish. For comparison, the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic project had a budget exceeding $300 million and took years to develop. Hermes has demonstrated that smart, efficient work can lead to huge advancements in a short time. In building their turbine-based combined cycle engine, Hermes chose the General Electric J85 turbojet, a trusted engine that has been used in military jets like the Northrop F5 and Teva 38 Talon. This proven engine has performed in various military missions and provided a reliable foundation for the Chimera project. However, Hermes didn't stop there. After launching the first Chimera, the company quickly advanced to Chimera II, a more sophisticated version, just one year later. This rapid development is uncommon in aerospace, where most companies take years to release a new engine. For their next iteration, Hermes used the powerful Pratt & Whitney F-100 engine, which has served in legendary aircraft like the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. These engines have racked up over 30,000 flight hours and have been used in demanding air combat and patrol missions worldwide. The new Hermes aircraft is more than just a faster version of existing aircraft, it's a revolutionary leap forward in aviation. It is being designed to fly faster than Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, but speed isn't the only challenge. At such high speeds, air friction generates extreme heat, making it essential for the aircraft to be constructed with materials and designs. That can withstand these conditions. Hermes aims to go beyond the State Route 71 Blackbird's record, which flew at Mach 3.3, by pushing for even higher speeds. The new aircraft will operate at altitudes of 80,000 to 85,000 feet, more than double the height of typical commercial planes, which fly at 35,000 to 40,000 feet. At these altitudes, the air is much thinner, making it more difficult for engines to extract enough oxygen and for wings to generate lift. The State Route 71 flew at such heights to evade enemy missiles and radar, with pilots wearing special suits to prevent their blood from boiling due to low air pressure. Now, Hermes is aiming for faster speeds and more efficient travel while tackling the biggest technical hurdles in aviation. Hypersonic flight at speeds over Mach 5 generates tremendous heat, causing the aircraft's exterior to exceed 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to melt aluminum and weaken titanium. To handle these extreme conditions, engineers are developing new heat-resistant materials like special alloys and ceramic composites. These materials are already used in missiles and space vehicles and are essential for withstanding such high temperatures. However, some of these materials, like nickel-based alloys, can be heavy, which hinders speed. To address this, Hermes is using lightweight carbon ceramic composites, which are not only strong and heat-resistant but also much lighter. These materials can withstand temperatures as high as 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit for single-use components and 3,100 degrees Fahrenheit for reusable ones. These advanced materials are already employed in aerospace and high-performance cars. In addition to selecting the best materials, Hermes has focused on how to manufacture them. To this end, they've chosen VEL 3D Sapphire and Sapphire XC 3D printers. Industrial 3D printing is revolutionizing the way advanced machinery is constructed, enabling engineers to produce detailed and complex parts with incredible accuracy and speed. These printers are capable of using Inconel 718, a strong nickel-chromium alloy renowned for its heat and corrosion resistance. Inconel 718 is commonly used in harsh environments, such as gas turbines and aircraft components, because it remains strong even at extreme temperatures ranging from 423 degrees Fahrenheit to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. 
by using 3D printing, engineers can also create parts with special shapes that would be impossible to make through traditional manufacturing methods, allowing for even greater performance and efficiency in hypersonic aircraft design. With older manufacturing methods, the Chimera engine would have faced numerous challenges, but Hermes's approach has made it better in both performance and durability while also cutting down on production costs. The result is a more efficient and budget-friendly process that doesn't sacrifice quality. According to the engineers at Hermes, the quarter horse may look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but its design is rooted in real, advanced engineering. While some parts use modern materials, most of the airframe is constructed from titanium, a proven metal known for being incredibly strong yet lightweight. This makes the quarter horse ideal for high-speed, high-performance flight. The aircraft's sleek, sharp design isn't just for looks, it's a smart example of excellent aerodynamics. The sharp, blade-like features smoothly blend into the body, creating a streamlined shape that cuts through the air with minimal resistance. The design reminds many people of the Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird, which was also engineered for high-speed flight. Like the Blackbird, the quarter horse is built to handle quick, sharp maneuvers in the sky. The quarter horse is approximately 40 feet long, making it slightly smaller than the Northrop T-38 Talon, which is about 46 feet long. However, both jets share a lot in common, they are designed for training and light attack roles, known for their agility and high performance. The T-38, introduced in the 1960s, is still regarded as one of the best training jets ever, having trained thousands of pilots over the years. The quarter horse aims to follow in its footsteps, but with more advanced technology, positioning itself as a serious contender in military aviation. Although the quarter horse has an exciting design, it's still a prototype, which means engineers are continuing to test it and may need to adjust the design based on real-world results. Flight testing often leads to small changes to improve how the aircraft handles at high speeds and altitudes and to make it safer and more reliable. Last year marked a significant milestone for the Hermes team, they tested the Quarterhorse Zero Malawian Quadrant.